Hi, my name is Daniel. I'm from Hamburg and I'm the CEO and founder of Coiner, a Swiss-based company working on a democratization process of uh, currency. And we are going to launch next year a currency called Coiner, which uh, is basically credit for everybody. So it's self-issued credit network that we are trying to establish in order to provide the market with liquidity, which we don't get from banks. And today uh, uh, at uh, the, the crowdsourcing summit in the Arctic Circle, where we are right now, you yeah, first, behind uh, that beautiful, uh, beautiful. landscape. Yeah. Yes, behind awesome, you. awesome, awesome. Uh, today, uh, you also gave a presentation at the crowdsourcing summit, and you started that the, the monetary system is 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 uh, dead. So, explain why, <coughs> what happened? Well, it's not really dead. It's kept alive. Uh, artificially, um, there's different flaws in the system that I explained earlier on. Basically, uh, one is the interest rate and that the interest rate is never created. When we get a credit from the bank, we only pay back the credit. Um, but the interest rate that the bank is asking for is never created in the system. So we have to get that somewhere uh, to pay it back to the banks. And so we have to take the interest um, from somebody else who also got a credit in order to give it back to the bank. So this is why we are forced to grow in an economy. And this is one of the big flaws in the system, which will mathematical, mathematically lead to an end of the system every 60, 80 years. And uh, what is your solution there to this problem? Well, not only that, <coughs> that's just one of the many problems we are having in the monetary system and I think uh, it is not really fixable in the system we are having. So our approach is to set up a new system with different rules without these flaws in the system and this is what we are working on with Coiner to redefine the concept of money in order to have a monetary system that um, actually um, promotes and helps the real economy um, in form of giving them liquidity which they really need because banks are not providing li liquidity to the markets anymore and so this is basically the concept of money it should serve the economy and not extract the values out of the economy like we're seeing it now and it sounds great but how are you going to realize that smart money smart contracts smart economy technologically we're basing that on smart contracts because money actually is only a contract between a people or a community. So um, we are basing this monetary system on smart contracts and the rules of the contract are defined by the communities and the rule of money creation is the same for all the communities which is based on future production which means that you promise to deliver a product and service to the community that you self-issue credit for in advance to be able to finance it or the to finance the production of the product upfront and you don't go to the bank asking for a credit to do so. So it's basically a self-issued credit network based on a smart contract which helps the real economy to provide itself with liquidity. And how long are you now busy with this project? Oh, <laughs> quite some time. It took a lot of uh, development and a lot of legal questions that had to be solved. Um, so for more than three to four years now. And, and what were the biggest challenges, uh, also like the, the legal challenges? Yeah, we're still in, at the moment um, going through a compliant process. Um, we now know that we are going to get compliant and um, or we found a way how to get compliant. Let's put it that way. And um, that's where the, the basics. Of course, you have to be compliant, otherwise they will stop you. And that was a big challenge. Yes. Uh, the other challenge was to find the right technology to do it because we didn't want to develop a technology we want to be a monetary delivery service and not a technology company another software company so that was one challenge uh, one challenge or the other challenge and of course uh, to fund it but uh, we're doing quite well and so we're lucky and how did you fund it with business angels and privately with ourselves and putting our own money in it in <coughs> the first place then we were lucky to um, find a business angel supporting us and now um, we're heading to the next round of financing um, with some fintech VCs 
and we have found a very clever way to um, actually distribute wealth within a, an economy like that which we're building because what we're building actually is a parallel economy where businesses and consumers and other market makers can join in and um, so we have set up a hybrid company which we call I'm, I call, I'm calling myself an ecopreneur you can earn money and do good at the same time it's not a social entrepreneurship and it's not a classical entrepreneurship it's right in between uh, combining both and I think this is a niche where not many companies have yet been um, yeah, able to position themselves. And at, at what way do you think uh, the existing financial market will respond on, uh, at, at your new, new company? Actually, uh, even now I'm experiencing that. Banks are calling me and asking me for um, not help, but to maybe collaborate in forms of <coughs> providing them access to this new economy because they don't know, they, they feel that there's something wrong and they don't have a clue how to fix it. And so they're now trying to, especially also because of the Bitcoin and all that hype around the cryptocurrencies to um, yeah, not lose the, um, their, their um, customer base and to try to f set up their future businesses into that scene. So banks are approaching us, investors are approaching us, press is approaching us. Um, it slowly starts to uh, yeah, get recognized. And how do you force yourself to, uh, to, to, to stay with your both feet on the ground and not to, to go for the money? Well, <coughs> I grew up in Africa and I grew up with completely different values. And my, my, personal, my personal drive is not because of any money. My personal drive is change making. I'm sick of going to the supermarket and not getting a good product. I always have to read through the whole in list of ingredients because it's all crap. I want to have good food. I want to go to the doctor and get healed and not you know, serve the pharma industry. The whole system is so corrupt and, and bad. I don't even go to the doctor anymore. Um, I'm just fed up with how it really evolved. And so my personal um, drive is a completely different one. I want to really live in another world. That's what, what's kicking me. I want to really change it. And I think the only way to really change things on a big scale is to democratize money creation. And what can I, uh, because we're here in, in Lettland, at, uh, at the Volerim. Uh, at what way... Lucky us. <laughs> yes, <laughs> really lucky us. And what way uh, 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 can a community like this benefit from this new, new, new system? Yes, <clears throat> good question. I was talking to the people from Volerim yesterday and today um, because uh, they are suffering the problem that many communities are suffering, that the euro is flowing away out of their community. So the values that they have here in the ground as commodities or the values that they're producing um, is flowing away from them. So uh, that's basically due to the monetary system. So if they want to keep their values within their community, they have to define their own monetary system. So that if others want these products they are delivering to the markets, they have to buy them in their currency. So they will get money in instead of that money flows away. So um, I think Lapland in general is predestinated to, um, yeah, to come up with an own currency. And what can, we, what can we expect from you the, the, in the near future? Uh, what steps are going to happen the next, uh, next months? Yeah, well, <clears throat> we're going to get compliant, hopefully, within Q2. Um, we're working on a next financing round. And um, also, we hope to find some test markets, like maybe uh, here in Lapland, uh, so that we can test while developing um, the system and the project. Um, that would be awesome. Okay, great. Thank you. Good luck with that. Thank you very much. For having me.